Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting uh, screencast. Uh, the problem reads, uh, determine the magnitude of a uh, force P required to hold the 50 kg smooth rod in equilibrium, a theta equal to 60 degrees. This problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics uh, Statics uh, textbook, 13th edition by R.C. Bella. Uh, we are going to solve this particular problem by using a method called virtual work. This is an alternative method to the equilibrium of a particle, to the equilibrium of a rigid body, to the equilibrium of a interconnected rigid bodies. It is an alternative. Therefore, it means we are able to solve this particular problem by just using uh, the equations of equilibrium for static bodies. Right, but for this particular chapter, we are going to solve it using the equilibrium, uh, I mean using the virtual work method. Virtual work method. Okay. And what is this virtual work method? It's defined by this equation del u is equal to zero. Given that, let's say you have some uh, forces, active forces in the system, active as well as reactive, and there is some virtual translational displacement del r. Let's say you also have some couple moments with some rotational virtual displacements. When you sum up the virtual work in a given system, this is equal to zero, right? A force in the same direction with a translational displacement, or if they are collinear and, and in the same direction is positive, otherwise it is negative. A moment uh, with uh, the rotational displacement if they are collinear or parallel and in the same direction the virtual work is positive otherwise it is negative all right and all the problems that we are going to be dealing with in this particular chapter are going to be the single degree of our freedom and by this we mean we are able to Allocate the position of any point within our system, be it a force or a point within our structure, just by using a single coordinate, which is theta. Theta. Okay. All right. So the first things first, when we are using this particular method, is to draw the free body diagram. After we've drawn the free body diagram, we need to draw another free body diagram for the structure that is displaced. Okay. So let's draw the free body diagram and we are assuming in this particular case there is no friction all right so we expect here to have a normal force ay and also at this point to have a normal force bx right mm -hmm. great so now let's apply a virtual displacement we can apply it either at b or at a it's really up to you let's apply it at a you can apply it in the opposite direction of p or in the same direction it doesn't really matter let's apply it in the same direction okay so let's say this is my uh let me say there we go something like so okay so let's say i've applied some virtual displacement there in this direction like so all right and let's call this virtual displacement uh del x what letter is here a okay then let's draw now the structure to look at how it has been displaced so if we are to move this means this road is going to be somewhere here this point here 
what happens there it will get lifted up like so all right there we go great so we've drawn this this is what we expect mind you there is some weight of this rod at the very center here which i didn't indicate initially let me indicate it there is some weight here we are told in the problem to say there is a weight there and this weight is um the value we're just going to say w okay and we know to say this w is nothing but equal to 50 times 9.81 and if you grab your calculator punch in those numbers you expect a 490.5 newtons great so what happens here at this particular point here let's call this point here point uh, you have a b let's say this is our c okay so this point here when this road goes up what happens to this point so expect this point it is it will move in this direction like so again these are the virtual displacement at that point okay because you need to identify it we're going to have a movement to the left right and you are going to have a movement up okay to have a movement up all right so what do we call these particular displacements so this one is just equal to del y del y c of course this one you can call it uh del x c but uh we don't have any force in that direction so i'm just indicating it you do not even consider it the the, the virtual work due to del x c is going to be equal to zero because you don't have any force in the, that direction whether active or reactive then at this point here uh we have a displacement in this direction this point has moved up this point has moved up it has moved up like so so we have some displacement there so this is del uh this is del y b we don't have any force in that direction the force is in the horizontal in the vertical is zero so even there there the virtual work is going to be zero so let's define our reference point so that we define these uh, virtual displacements so this point let's call this point d okay so our reference point is d yeah this is the point that we are picking as a fixed point so now with this point let's define these movements so say so from there to there this is what we are interested in as our first point and also the center of this road from there to there so these are the two positions at the moment that we are interested in because we have active forces there we have active forces and we have also uh we have active forces and we have also uh the virtual displacement so we expect a virtual work there okay right so what are they so this one we are going to call it is uh y c okay this one we are going to call it is x a right x a okay great so let's write down this equation so x a is just going to be equal to uh x a is equal to what's the length of this member it is five right it is five right let me clean up this part here i just want to check yes it is five 
so this is five uh, meters and then cos theta therefore del x a now we are writing down the virtual displacement okay this is going to be equal to minus five sine theta del theta and i usually like putting it getting the absolute values okay the actual signs are going to be defined in the virtual work equation so this gives me five this gives me five it gives me five sine theta del theta all right let's write down the other equation so y c is going to be equal to um that force is acting half the length so we'll say half of five uh, sine theta okay therefore del y c that's going to be equal to 2.5 cos theta del theta so we have the two equations for the virtual displacements and those are the points where we have the forces plus the displacements okay at b we have the force in the horizontal direction but we do not have any displacement there right in that direction okay and then at it is only at C and at T, at C in the vertical direction and at A in the horizontal direction. So let's sum up these particular forces. Now we are using uh, the virtual work equation. This is equal to zero. Therefore, what do we have? We have, um, let's start with P there. So we have a P times del X A, and this is positive. P and del, they are both in the same direction. And then at C, the only one that is going to cause the virtual work there is uh, the vertical direction. Okay. So, it's, and it's going to be negative because the displacement is in the opposite direction of the force. So, we have W, uh, del, Y, C equal to zero. Of course, like I said at B, we have this displacement in the vertical, but the force is in the horizontal where we don't have any displacement. All right, and then let's replace the values of del C. So this value there, we will replace it here. And then this value, we will replace it. We will replace that one here. Okay. So once we do so, then we are going to have a P, uh, a P by five sine theta del theta minus W uh, del um, 2.5 cos theta del theta equal to zero when you factor out del theta then we are going to have the following to be a 5p uh, sine theta minus 2.5 w uh, cos theta equal to zero and we know to say del theta is not going to be equal to zero okay del theta is not going to be equal to zero the only part that will be zero is this part here okay and what we are looking for is p so let's make p subject to a formula p therefore is just going to be equal to p therefore is equal to uh 2.5 w cos theta divided by uh, divided by uh, 5 sine theta 
and we know to say theta is equal to 60 degrees and uh, so is and then we know also to say w is equal to 490.5 newtons and therefore our p will just be equal to grab your calculators so 2.5 by 490.5 cos 60 divided by 5 uh, sine 60 so p is going to be equal to 141.60 newtons okay i think this is about it we have found the value of p that will ensure that the system is in, in equilibrium let me calculate it again 2.5 by 490.5 cos 60 divided by 5 uh, 5 sine 60 141.595 we round off 141.6 all right i think this is about it and i hope this video is helpful if it was give me a thumbs up or like my video continue subscribing and liking my channel bye bye and see you in my next uh, screencast.